New research sheds light on why the sperm whale, which is an endangered species, was not killed off entirely. In the 18th and 19th centuries, whaling ships, like the one depicted in the classic novel and film Moby Dick, decimated the whale's population. But an international research team studied newly digitized whaling logbooks from the North Pacific Ocean and concluded sperm whales made smart use of their remarkable asset, the biggest brain on Earth. We have a real habit of underestimating what other animals can do. Traditionally, sperm whale's only predator was the orca. Staying safe meant forming defensive circles and smashing their tails outwards. That tactic left them wide open to be slaughtered when whalers began hunting them. The new findings bolster a theory that the whales adjusted, leaving their formations and swimming upwind to escape from the whalers, who were also powered by the wind. So the whalers saw a sperm whale and they went after it, but their success in killing it went down by about 60% in three to five years. Whitehead says the whales can communicate over great distances using sonar clicks, with family groups using different dialects. He says it's possible they warned each other in the same way they share information about where to find food. And they use this information to, at least some of the time, and, and more and more often as time went on, um, behave in a way to evade the whalers. The findings could raise hope for the endangered North Atlantic right whale. Their numbers are dwindling because of ship strikes and fishing gear entanglement in Atlantic Canada. That does give us a bit of hope that they can learn effective methods to avoid the noise, the fishing gear, the plastic. Whitehead suggests creatures that survived for millions of years before humans existed should not be underestimated. Ross Lord, Global News.